This video will cover some types of RFID and NFC tags and how you can use them with your Android or Apple device to save time, money, uh, and improve your business. Uh, up first, we're going to talk about NFC or near field communication tags. Uh, these are also called high frequency tags. Uh, NFC type is uh, pretty familiar to most people since there are NFC readers uh, in you know most smartphones such as the Galaxy uh, series, the S8, the iPhone uh, now has it and can access it. So uh, common applications include payment processing, event ticketing, uh, and access control uh, with common access RFID cards like Prox, CEOs, iClass. Um, there's many different types of NFC tags. Differences are, are pretty nuanced and technical and if you want an in-depth in explanation we will link an article below this video. Uh, but in general, NFC tags have a chip serial number, uh, or CSN. Uh, this is sometimes also called a unique ID or UID. And then they typically have a memory data sector. There's different levels of encryption and memory size and, and features, uh, and these are all available according to your application needs. Here we have an NFC card. It uh, looks like a credit card. Uh, it's also called a CR80 card. Uh, here we have a wristband, uh, both one-time use and reusable, uh, good for you know events, conferences, parks, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, and we also have here sticker tags, which can be applied to assets, existing IDs, cars, and so forth. These tags can be read with a Bluetooth RFID reader, like the ID Champ and ScanFob brand readers. Um, and in some cases, you can read it with your smartphone. Uh, Android phones and tablets typically have a built-in NFC reader that can read some NFC types. Uh, iOS phones also have a built-in reader, but there are a lot more limitations uh, on the iPhones. We'll link a video down below that talks more about that. Uh, it's also important to note that the ID Champ readers, uh, they offer uh, proprietary uh, abilities in terms of reading access control badges, which you cannot read with any Android or iOS phone. Uh, and we'll show some attendance applications in another video as well. Uh, so how can you leverage mobile NFC technology in your organization? Uh, the most common way is to improve accuracy and save time when taking attendance at events or meetings or trainings. Um, here we're going to show two real case studies, uh, one that was a brand new implementation of RFID and one that leveraged uh, existing RFID access control badges. So Salt Lake City Comic Con had a problem. Uh, the event was a huge success, but long lines at the entrance were causing some frustration. So SerialIO.com worked with the event management company Grotix to develop an RFID ticketing solution using uh, one-time use NFC wristbands uh, along with the ID Champ RS3 and some iPads. The readers were easy to deploy, uh, they scanned quickly, and they required almost no staff oversight. Uh, we were able to cut wait times from uh, an hour or more to just minutes, uh, creating greater customer satisfaction. Uh, in our second example, you know, we'll talk about how uh, staff training is a critical part of any healthcare organization. Uh, a national senior care provider was using pen and paper to track attendance at trainings, and the results were inaccurate. It was time consuming to enter them back into the system. The company already had existing employee ID cards uh, that used HID Prox. Serial.io created a mobile training attendance app uh, that allowed them to download their existing employee database, schedule classes, uh, and then take attendance at those classes using a Android device and the RFID card and an ID Champ RS3. Uh, and then they were able to quickly and easily issue reports. So how can mobile RFID and NFC benefit you? Uh, call SerialIO.com today to discuss with a solution specialist.